Hey, what up guys? Welcome. Uh, just prepared a quick little uh, meal on the go uh, via Trader Joe's. If you've never been at Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's is uh, good for uh, kind of meals on the go if you're uh, pressed for time or and or if you've had a pretty long day and you're deciding not to cook. And they have some fairly good healthy stuff there. Um, so let me show you what I got going. So, uh, sorry it's kind of haphazard, but when I do these uh, videos, I kind of am in a rush a little bit because I'm pretty hungry. So anyway, what are you looking at right here? This is a chicken in a, a soy ginger sauce. And there's some edamame there, obviously the chicken. There's some shiitake mushrooms and uh, some green beans right there as well. So you just put that in the pan and you're good to go. And then right here, it's kind of hidden. This is uh, some quinoa right here. And I got this also from Trader Joe's. Be sure to check that out. So right here, the quinoa duo with vegetable um, melangi or melangi, I'm not sure how you pronounce that. So if you've never had quinoa, if you get tired of eating uh, brown rice or white rice, quinoa is a good um, alternative because it also has a good amount of protein. So right there for, let's see if I can, it's getting a little messed up right there. So it's for, uh, let's see, one cup, 220 calories. And then there's the fat and then 36 carb or four are fiber and then six grams of protein. So that's the main difference. The texture is a little bit different. It gets getting used to right here. Uh, there's the picture and there is right there. The texture is a little bit different. It's kind of hard to explain. It's um, a little bit um, like softer in a way, but it's kind of airy. It, it's kind of hard to explain. Uh, if you guys have a better description of quinoa, uh, leave the comments down below but uh, quinoa like I said it has a good amount of protein and that's really really important because when you have a lot of carbohydrates if you're carbohydrate sensitive um, obviously carbs it's gonna spike your insulin but the quinoa with the amount of protein that it has it's gonna slow down the absorption of the carbohydrates a little bit therefore you're not gonna have that crazy uh, insulin spike as much hence you're not gonna you know be prone to uh, putting on as much belly fat so that's what the uh, quinoa is for good carbs be sure to inquire about that they have it at most uh, grocery stores and then you also want to get some lean proteins and some vegetables so i'm going to devour this meal thanks again for all your support see you guys in a little bit adios